Good morning. Today my partner Kato and I will discuss the priorities that our nation currently possesses and those that importance should be vastly increased. From the papers laid out in front of you, you can see that we are here to debate the United States involvement in space exploration and the fact that currently there are no foreign nations that are involved in our now limited research. Resolved that the U.S. federal government should substantially increase space exploration through increased cooperation with foreign space programs. Some terms to be defined would include substantially, which is considerable in quality or significantly great, increase to become progressively greater in size or amount, and cooperation, which is association of persons for common benefit. As some of you know, the space shuttle program was recently disbanded by President Obama. Currently, we have limited involvement in space, which has not always been true. We as a nation have been in and out of space since the early 60s. However, the United States has had little involvement with other countries because of the space race in the 60s and into the 70s. Space race was between the Russians and the United States and was a race to put a man on the moon, an event deemed of great significance at the time. As you all know, the United States was successful with near Armstrong landing in 1969. Since that event, interest in space has been limited. The space shuttle program was made and was successful initially, for we created a reusable spacecraft. But over time, the hype eventually subsided due to lack of significant discovery or reason to go into space, besides the primitive urge that we Americans filled by declaring the moon as our territory. Eventually, the International Space Station was made for research, but limited achievements were reached. Over time, other problems and issues have taken precedent over space. There are two pressing global issues that, the, that have consistently plagued this world. They are overpopulation and the economy. These issues are what we, the affirmative side, are proposing we solve. These issues can be described with three Ps, population, poverty, and possibility. We as humans are overpopulating and destroying this earth. There are over seven billion on this planet, and a hole in the ozone too big to measure. We've come to the point that this planet cannot take anymore. The world needs a break. My second P is poverty. The national debt is absolutely out of control. In order to pay it off, we owe $50,000 for every person in our population of 300 million people in this great country. My last P is the most important one, and that is possibility. With further exploration of space, with the help of our foreign friends throughout the world, we have the possibility to do so much. What if we colonized other planets to prevent further overpopulation? What if we could create new jobs with some sort of uh, global milk with, some, with more research and other scientific fields throughout space? What if we can ensure our safety with some sort of global military agency to protect our planet? What if we could mine and find some new renewable resource? There's so much potential and so many possibilities that can be attained through space exploration, all easily acquired by associating with foreign countries. I say this is all possible plainly based on practicality. Right now, NASA has a department which is called International Cooperation at NASA. This department has agreements with other countries based on budgets, territories, and research rights. According to NASA.gov, 50% of these agreements are done with traditional partners, which consists of eight partners such as France, Germany, the ESA, Japan, United Kingdom, Italy, Canada, and most importantly, Russia. There are 118 other countries out there which fill the other agreements, and they're referred to as non-traditional partners. These countries share little information, ideas, or money. Currently, there is also an organization out there called the European Space Agency, and plainly, I think they're brilliant. They came up with the idea that multiple, sp multiple countries are stronger than one. It is funded by a margin of a variety of different space programs pulled together in order to achieve a goal that is too expensive for one country to, to do on their own. It consists of 15 friendly European states, and they raise $5.43 billion annually, according to BogoTop.com, second only to the powerhouse NASA. Let's say, for instance, that we'd abandoned the ESA and made a world space agency, containing the, containing the untraditional partners. According to the source, the top 20 agency listed their budgets for 2011, and when summed up without the International Space, space Agent, the European Space Agency, the world spends $36.34 billion annually. And that's only the top 20 countries. Imagine what that money would be with the other 98 countries were brought up to the table. That is just an astronomical amount of money, all put together for one common goal, whatever fantastic possibility that may be. Thank you, vote affirmative.